What's up, everyone? Jeremy here from mtgheadquarters.com. Just got back from MTG Card Market. I'm going to put a link to their store in the description below. This entire video is sponsored by them, and they've been great supporters of the channel. So if you need any singles or you want to pick up some of your own conspiracy, please take a moment to check out their website. On to the video. So thank you again, MTG Card Market. Um, they're, they've been the best supporter of the channel by far. I don't, I don't wait. I mean, all the supporters are awesome, but they always hook me up when the new sets drop. So this may bother some of you uh, that I'm not drafting it. I'm just cracking the packs, but that's how I roll. Here we go. What a cool box too. Dun, 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 dun. 36 packs. I will be going to my local game store tomorrow and doing some conspiracy drafts. I think they will be incredibly fun. Uh, but the side note, there is some amazing cards in conspiracy. Brainstorms, Pernicious D, Dark Faden, Stifle, Exploration, Council Judgment, so much. Misdirection, Reflecting Pool, just so many crazy, amazing cards that desperately needed reprint. I wonder if there is land in these packs. I don't know what to expect, uh, but let's get right to it. We'll do this just like any other booster box. We're going to go through... Um, just the uncommons and the rare. We have a breakthrough. Squirrel's Nest. Gotta love pumping out those squirrels. Ruined Servitor. And our first rare is Spirit Monger. Three uh, black and a green for a 6 6 with loads of fun. Ooh, and our very first pack has. What the heck? I'm confused. Okay. There's a... Oh, I love this card. <laughs> All right. That, that was weird. Okay. So I don't know what's going on with these packs. You guys probably do. But let's just get to pulling our foil brainstorm and move on with our lives. I wonder where the uh, foil brainstorm... If there... Uh, I wonder where it will settle in this set. Woodvine Elemental, Vampire Hex Mage, Mirrodin's Core, I thought we might have had a reflecting pool there, and a rare Ignition Team. Seven drop, zero, zero, Ignition Team enters the battlefield with X11 one, one counters on it, where X is the number of tapped lands on the battlefield. So there must be a construct or something at the end of every pack. These are the these are definitely fun cards. The constructs, uh, they do affect like usually you have to draft them, like face up or whatever. I'll be going to conspiracy drafts tomorrow at uh, Games Universe. The way they're gonna do it, I think, is just the winning team each gets f the top two each get four packs or something like that of conspiracy, and then uh, hey, look at this guy. <laughs> um, and then I think like if there's anything where it has to add a booster pack that comes out of the price support. Woodvine Elemental, Bloodweir Intimidator, Plagued Rusalka, and our rare is Terastodon. Yeah, it's 9 9. When it enters the battlefield, destroy up to three target non creature permanents. For each permanent put in this way, put in the graveyard this way, its controller puts a 3 3 green elephant creature token onto the battlefield. We have a Cogwork Spy and a Squirrel Token. Still waiting for our first foil. Just uh, went down to Illinois with my cousin, the guy that actually got me started in Magic, came with me. So it was really fun to hang out with him again and talk Magic and reminisce. Barbed Shocker, Plagued Rosalka, Rito Lantern, and a reflecting pool. Sweet. 
Uh, tap, add your mana, add to your mana pool one mana of any type that a land you control could produce. Ooh, and our first foil is a Relic Crush, foil uncommon. And we have our first Conspiracy card, too. Uh, Muzio's Preparations with Hidden Agenda. In the second box, uh, MTG Card Market, again, link in the description below. Thank you guys so much. They uh, hooked me up with two boxes. So the second box, I will spend more time. Um, I think you guys will, will probably say as you watch this that you'd want me to spend more time. So I will spend more time on the cards. But this is the first box, and, you know, I just want to open it up. And I'll go back and look later. Wood Sage, Vow of Duty, <laughs> Duty, Elephant Guide, and we have a Selvala Explorer Return. This card's very strong with Parlay. 2 4. Uh, you can tap. Each player reveals the top card of his or her library. For each non land card revealed in this way, add a forest to your mana pool and you gain one life. Then each player draws a card. We have another conspiracy Brago's Favor. Very fun. I went back and watched the uh, Wizards like draft of this, and um, I think this is going to be a lot of fun to draft. I'm going to try to draft it as much as I can. Right now, it's actually a little hard to get. I didn't expect that. Spontaneous Combustion, Wakestone Gargoyle, Explorer's Scope, and Council's Judgment. So another spendy rare. One white, one, uh, two white, one colorless. Sorcery with Will the Council. Starting with you, each player votes for a non-land permanent you don't control. Exile each permanent with the most votes or tied for the most votes. And we have a Conspiracy Double Stroke. Oh, wizards. You are so crafty. Make a product, repent some stuff, gold. So, you know, yeah, there's a lot of weird kind of stuff going on in conspiracy drafts, but you also have, you know, creatures. You still need to do damage. Wood Sage, Vow of Duty, Relic Crush, Magister of Worth. I think this wasn't this the one that they kind of snuck out in Journey into Nyx pre releases. 4 4 Flying with Will of the Council. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, this is a fun card. Starting with you, each player votes for Grace or Condemnation. If Grace gets more votes, each player returns each creature card from his or her graveyard to the battlefield. If Condemnation gets more votes, or it's tied, destroy all creatures other than Magister of the Worth. And we have a Conspiracy Immediate Action. I think the Conspiracies are strong. I don't know where I would draft them. From what I saw, drafting them early didn't really... I still think just great creatures won. And the ability to, to uh, make some alliances. Jetting Glass Kite. Alliances in the political part. Ooh, Fire Shrieker reprint. Interesting. Squirrel Nest. And Magus of the Mirror. Six drop for a 4-2. Sacrifice Magus. Exchange life totals with target opponent. Activate this ability only during your upkeep. I believe the... Uh, Chris Cluey famously misplayed this card. No disrespect, Chris. It was the first time seeing the cards. Would have been a pretty epic play. All right. Extract from Darkness. Jetting Glass Kite. Smallpox, sweet. And Bassandra, Battle Seraph. A Boros 4-4 four, four flyer. Players cannot cast spells during combat. Pay one red. Target creature attacks this turn if able. An iterative analysis. Um, so this video probably looked a little different. I didn't put my intro or outro on uh, because, well, we got back too late. And I wanted to get it up real quick. So, uh, you know, I did it for you guys. Air Servant. God, I hated dealing with this card in M14 drafts. Barbed Shocker. Spectral Searchlight, and oh, I see a foil back there, and a Council's Judgment, two of them, very close to each other. I think this is like a $15 card, roughly 15 to 20 currently. Who knows where it will really end up. And our foil, Nature's Claim. 
Oh, and we got another rare, double rare pack, Canal Dredger. 1-5, dra draft it face up. Each player passes the last card from each booster pack to a player who drafted card named Canal Dredger. That seems fun. Uh, you get a lot of junk, just like a real dredger. It's junk, but maybe you'll find a few things. All right, spontaneous combustion. Quicksand, uh, Palaka Worm, and Silent Arbiter. No more than one creature can attack each combat. No more than one creature can block each combat. Unexpected potential. We have another conspiracy. So there seems like quite a few conspiracies. Hopefully this will help you guys prepare for your drafts. Just to get an idea like what the packs look like. Um, and then tomorrow morning I will get my release day packs from my LGS and we'll do a much longer video. Air Servant, Barbed Shocker, Plagued uh, Rusalka. Oh, and our first mythic is a Pristine Angel. Uh, one of the lower value mythics, but still a mythic nonetheless. 4-4 four, four Flyer. As long as it is untapped, it has protection from artifacts and all colors. Whenever you cast a spell, you may untap Pristine Angel. <laughs> So how are you guys uh, feeling about conspiracy? Are you going to run out and buy a bunch of it? Or are you going to just kind of wait for M15? Rousing of Souls. I could definitely see Wizards doing more of this stuff in the future. Vow of Duty. Split Decision. <laughs> Great card. Explorer Scope. And a rare is a misdirection. Another sweet chase rare. Still looking for that first stifle, but a classic reprint here. Uh, you may exile a blue card from your hand rather than pay its mana cost. Uh, change the target of tar uh, change the target of target spell with a single target. And we have an iterative analysis. I'm going to. I promise I will draft after I open two of the boxes. Uh, I will draft a box. I will find. Three other players to draft. Pitchburn Devils, huh? It's kind of a weird card to see. Plummet. We have Vampire Hex Mage. Gamekeeper and a rare. Death Render. Four drop. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two. Whenever a equipped creature dies, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield and attach Death Render to it. Holy cow. The old Lurking Automaton. This is really cool. Um, where you draft it and note how many cards you've drafted during the first round, including uh, Lurking Automaton. Lurking Automaton enters the battlefield with X, 1-1 one, one counters on it, where X is the highest number of note you noted for cards named Lurking Automaton. So I think that's one if you draft it like 8th or something like that. Wow, that... Death Render seems pretty legit. I mean, I don't know the power level of all the cards just yet. I mean, I I haven't poured over it because I because I can't play it on MTGO. So I made sure to get some for the channel, and then uh, hopefully I'll be able to do some drafting tomorrow. Split Decision. Skeletal Scrying. Very cool. Flaring Flamekin. And a rare Exploration. All right. We're, we're in a hot streak right now. One green. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. That is insane. Immediate action is our conspiracy. I know I'm not spending a ton of time on conspiracies. Like I said, the second box, I will read them through for you uh, if you guys want. This video is about getting the pack out to you guys, as, or the box out, as quick as I can. Uh, treasonous Ogre. Mortify. Very cool. Destroy target creature and enchantment. Uh, it's very similar to uh, Pernicious D, isn't it? I thought. We'll have to double check. I don't know that card exactly. Smallpox. And another exploration. Back to back explorations. Holy cats. This is like a $15 rare, too. Unexpected potential. It won't be a $15 rare long if that's what the distribution is. Again, these are like pre-order prices, so we know they always go down. 
Wind Dancer, Volcanic Fallout, Victimize, and Grenzo's Rebuttal. Six drop sorcery. Put a 4 4 red ogre creature token onto the battlefield. Starting with you, each player chooses an artifact, a creature, and a land from among permanents controlled by the player to his or her left. Destroy each permanent chosen in this way. Pretty insane. The, the rares are pretty insane. A Mortify? I like this card. Just like it. I also, you know, I'm an Orzhov guy. Mirrodin's Core. Palaka Worm and a rare. Oh, a second mythic. Uh, Marquesa, the Black Rose. Three different colors. Good for Commander, right? With the Throne. Other creatures you control have to Throne. Whenever a creature you control with a 1 1 counter on it dies, return that card to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of the next end step. Oh, and our foil. Oh, we have a foil rare, but it wasn't. Uh, ooh, I thought it was a Doc Faden, maybe. Uh, Dax Duplicate. You may have Dax Duplicate enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield except it gains, ha gains haste and a throne. That's pretty ridiculous. With Whisper Gear Sneak. A Mythic and a Foil Rare in one pack. I'll take that. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Started off with a Brainstorm. Maybe that means we'll find another Brainstorm later. In the pack. But shiny. Heckling Fiends. Marquesas Smuggler. Galvanic Juggernaut. And Plea for Power. Four drop. Sorcery. Starting with you, each player votes. Uh, for time or knowledge. Oh yeah, this is crazy. Um, if it's like, what, Time Walk? What they say, Time Walk plus... Uh, I forget, time walk. Well, anyway, uh, you either get to take an extra turn or draw three cards. It's pretty freaking powerful. Agent of Acquisitions. So there must be like a construct in every pack. All right. So thank you again, MTG Card Market. I can't thank you guys enough for your support. Uh, if you need anything, singles or sealed product, please uh, just check them out. Click on their link and at least check them out and give them a chance. People seem to really like them. Uh, Death Reap Ritual. Unquestioned Authority. Peace Strider. And Heartless uh, Haidegetsu? Sugu? <laughs> I don't know about that. But 5 drop 4-3 with Heartless. Deals damage to each player equal to half that player's life total. Rounded down. Yowza. We have another lurking automaton here. Wow. I hope Blizzards does do more stuff like this. Oh, Pillarfield Ox. Yeah, it wouldn't be a set of magic if there weren't uh, Pillarfield Oxes in it. Core Chant. Oh, here's a Swords to Plowshares. There we go. Love that card. Favorable Wins. Very good. Game Keeper and our rare... Wolfbriar Elemental, 4-drop for a 4-4 with multi-kicker. And Wolfbriar enters the battlefield, put a 2-2 green wolf creature token onto the battlefield for each time it was kicked. An immediate action conspiracy. You know what I thought was kind of weird is that they made this these boxes 36 packs instead of 24. I mean, I mean then they couldn't charge $120 or whatever, but it was Swords of Plowshares. At Uncommon, that's premium removal. Air Servant, uh, Raito Lantern, and... Oh, yeah, Doc Faden. Welcome to the party. One blue, one red, three. Target player draws two cards and discards two cards. His minus two is gain control of target artifact. Minus six, you can emblem with whenever you cast a spell that targets more permanents, one or more permanents, you gain control of those permanents. Pretty sick. Cogwork Spy and a Squirrel. Yes, Doc Faden. I wanted you. His price right now is insane. Pre-ordering at like $50 on SCG. That's insane. There's no way it's going to stay $50. I think, I think it's going to be hard to get. This first round's going to be hard to get. 
but I told that they're doing other print runs, so I don't know. Everybody I talk to is having a hard time getting a lot of it, but I don't know what that necessarily means. Vampire Hex Mage, oh, there's a foil back there. Maybe it's a Swords of Plowshares. Realm Seekers, six drop. When it enters the battlefield with X, one one counters on it, where X is the total number of cards in all players' hands. Uh, and you can also remove a counter from Realm Seeker, search your library for a land card, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. Oh, Silver Chase Fox, foil, and a backup plan. That's a rare level conspiracy, huh? Okay. I hope that uh, you guys all get a chance to, to draft this. Um, it'll definitely be way more fun if you know the people you're drafting with, right? I mean, ooh, Factor Fiction, very powerful. Treasonous Ogre. Warmonger's Chariot, and our rare is another Misdirection. Woo, good pulls. And yes, Foil Swords to Plowshares. Woo-wee. It's funny, I totally, uh, man, awesome. Crogwork Librarian. That's uh, running hot, baby. Running hot. Foil Swords of Plowshares. I'll take uh, I'll take a bunch of those. Oh, how about a Foil Brainstorm? We got Death Reap Ritual. Flaring Flamekin. Galvanic Juggernaut. And Sulfuric Vortex. One colorless, two red. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, Sulfuric Vortex deals two damage to that player. If a player would gain life, that player gains no life instead. I love how it's how it's worded. That's just that's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, stay tuned for I will have at least two more boxes of conspiracy this weekend. One I will take time and uh, go through and read the conspiracies, or at least the first one of each kind. And then uh, another one, I might try to tell you what I might draft. Might provide some better after I've actually drafted it. I think I'll open a box on Sunday once I've drafted it. Death Reap Ritual. Another Swords of Plowshares. Relic Crush. And Altar of Dementia. Sacrifice a creature. Target player puts a number of cards equal to the sacrifice creature's power from the top of his, high, his or her library into the graveyard. All right. So again, I apologize for the quick and dirty, but uh, I just did not get back, uh, you know, it was a long night and I didn't want to make you wait while I, cause if I would have, uh, well, Flame Rite, Relic Crush, Bite of the Black Rose, and I see a foil back there too, but a Raya Dawnbringer, six colorless, Three white, four six, flying at the beginning of your upkeep, you may return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Yikes. And a foil twisted abomination, which looks really cool in foil. And a sentinel dispatch. So yeah, uh, if I would have uploaded just to add like my beginning and my end on it, it would have been like another uh, two hours at least. Cause I'd have to transfer it and then Render it and then add it and then export it. Marquesa Smuggler. Intangible Virtue, all right. Smallpox. And Wolfbrier Elemental. And Secrets of Paradise and a Construct. All right, my animals are all going crazy because I've been gone, but I had to just, I had to come downstairs and shoot this right away. Um, so, hope you guys appreciate that. Bold Weir Intimidator, Palaka Worm, Skeletal Scrying, and a Grenzo, Dungeon Warden. Rakdos plus X, 2-2. Two, two. It enters the battle with X counters on it, and then you can put pay two, put bottom card of your library into your graveyard. If that if it's a creature card with power less equal to Grenzo's power, put it onto the battlefield. Yikes. <laughs> Foil Wood Sage. The foils just look beautiful. So I hope that, you know, if, you if you're just coming across this channel and you're just, you know, conspiracy brought you in, I hope that you'll give a second and give us a subscribe so that uh, you can see some gameplay footage. I'm doing standard deck techs. I've brought on a staff member that's now going to be doing modern deck techs. So keep your uh, 
Eyes Open for That videos are being recorded this week. Sky Spirit? I think you'll know who it is too, but I'm gonna keep that a secret for now. Soul Catcher? Reckless Spite? And our rare is a Spirit Monger. And we have a foil backup. Oh, foil conspiracy. All right. <laughs> backup plan. Draw an additional hand of seven cards as the game begins before taking mulligans. Shuffle all but one of your hands into your library. So you get to draw two hands and pick between them. That's a pretty cool conspiracy. We have Fires of Yavimaya, Council Guardian, Gamekeeper, and... Ooh, I saw a foil blue card. I know it's not a brainstorm, but Academy Elite, three and one blue. It enters the battlefield, X1 will counters on it, where X is the number of instants and sorcery cards in the graveyard. This is definitely like a cycle, right? And a foil Enclave Elite. Ooh, down to the last five packs. And then I will run up these stairs, put this SD laptop, immediately hit the upload button without even looking at it. So I hope that, uh, I hope you guys appreciate the, uh, I hope the, the trade-off and getting the video quicker is worth um, missing a little bit of the professionalism. Spontaneous Combustion, Glimmer Point Stag, Palaka Worm, and another Mythic, Coercive Portal, four mana. At the beginning of your upkeep, starting with you, each player votes Carnage or Homage. Uh, if Carnage gets more votes, sacrifice Chorus of Portal and destroy all non-land permanents. If a Homage gets more votes, or if the vote is tied, draw a card. <laughs> Woo! That's weird. This is a weird pack. So, and we ended up getting a legendary, a mythic, and a legendary land. Uh, what? Polinio, the high city? Uh, reveal it. Oh, okay, that's why. Reveal it as you draft it. The player to your right chooses a color. You choose another color. The player to your left chooses a third color. Tap. Add one mana to your mana pool of any color chosen as the drafted card's named. Oh, okay, cool. That's really cool. So that's like the, must be the slot for like, you must reveal this card if you draft it, that kind of stuff. So hopefully this is giving you an idea kind of what to expect when you start drafting this stuff. I, I don't think you want to ignore still getting your good creature base, but you want to have fun too. Cases Infiltrator, Death Forge Shaman, Elephant Guide, and Death Render. I love this card. <laughs> An advantageous proclamation. So I hope you guys are uh, having fun. Wind Dancer. Volcanic Fallout. Quicksand. And a rare Stifle! <laughs> I was waiting for that. Currently the second highest priced card in the set. Uh, it's, a, it's definitely a $20 rare. Counter target activated or triggered ability. So crazy. Foil versions of that will be rad. How about, we got two packs left. How about death foil brainstorm and we can just be done. We can just be done with all of our pulls and everyone can just go home and be happy. Glimmer point stag. There's a lot of flickering going on in this, in this drafting too. That's kind of cool. Spectral searchlight. Elephant Guide and Custody Soulbinders. Three and one blue. Oh, this is the same thing, right? Enters the battlefield. X11 counters on it where X is the number of other creatures on the battlefield. All right. And then you can give something flying. No. Remove a counter. Put a 1-1 one, one white spirit, spirit creature token with flying. Last pack. So, a couple things. One, thank you so much, MTG Card Market for uh, hooking up the MTG HQ crew. I've provided a link to them in the description below. At least check out their website. Everyone that's bought from them has really positive things to say. And um, you know, if you're looking for any seal product or any singles, they're great. They ship international. Um, if you're new to the channel, please take a second to subscribe. I promise most of my videos are a little more professionally done than this, but I wanted to get this out as quick as possible. And uh, what do you guys think of Conspiracy? I look forward to chatting with you in the comment section down below.
Do, 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 do. All right, here we go. Vow of Duty, Death Forge Shaman, Galvanic Juggernaut. There is a foil, I think. Reign of the Pit, six drop. Each player sacrifices a creature. This is pretty crazy. Put an XX Black Demon creature token where the with flying onto the battlefield where X is the total power of creatures sacrificed in this way. This is basically single-handedly won uh, one of the conspiracy drafts, right? And uh, that wizard showed. We have we end with a foil conspiracy. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you take a few minutes to check out MTG Card Market and just know the entire weekend I'm going to be uploading all sorts of conspiracy content like my conspiracy vlog tomorrow. I'm going to draft, so I'll give you some feedback of the draft. I'm going to open at least two more boxes, spend a little more time on them. So please make sure you subscribe so you get notified every time I upload a video. And we'll talk to you again real soon. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, check out some of our most popular playlists from MTG Vlogs, sick gameplay videos, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week, so if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.